Honda has been one of the biggest names in car manufacturing for a long time. Consumers love what they bring to the table. Their cars are always very innovative for the time of their release, and the Honda Civic Type R is no different. The new car is set to be released in the year 2023. Want to know why many fans are excited to give the car a go? Keep watching to find out. First, let's take a look at inside of the car. When a normal person goes about purchasing cars, there are two factors that most non-car enthusiasts tend to look at, how it looks both inside and and out. Mostly fixated on what's inside instead of what's under the hood, a lot of people who would consider purchasing the Type R would want to know what gadgets are inside. Well, the tease of the inside that was released by Honda, we could see the steering wheel along with the seats are wrapped in a nice shade of red suede. There are many gadgets to mess with in the car. On the dash of the car is a nice floating touchscreen system, something similar to that found in a Tesla. The touchscreen will allow you to do many of the things other car touchscreens can do. It makes it easier to to make phone calls without having to use your phone. You will also be able to change the radio much more smoothly and less dangerously. Now, changing to your favorite song or looking at the EQ settings is as easy as tapping a few buttons and swiping. This new screen is much safer than your normal radio with buttons and it's truly much more fun to use. Let's talk about some of the uses for the vehicle. The Honda Type R car is not only exclusively for car enthusiasts. It can also be a great car for a family man or a woman with two little ones of their own. It can be a useful car for getting your many bags of groceries from the grocery store to your house. It could also be a highly useful car for taking a much needed vacation and keeping your suitcases, beach towels, and snacks in the back. It has been estimated that the outgoing version of the Honda Civic Type R can hold 420 liters of cargo. But if you were to fold the seats, you could more than double the amount of space in your car with 1,237 liters. So if you're somebody who likes estate sales or yard sales, but don't think you're fit for a truck, the Honda Civic Type R is what's best for you. It's a safe vehicle for you to drive with your family and it's easy to figure out, while still allowing you enough space to do the things you need to do as a parent or a collector of wonderful, maybe sometimes not exactly needed things for your household. Next, let's look at some of the bad things people had to say about the Type R. As is with every vehicle on the market, the Honda Civic Type R has its share of disadvantages to it as well. As we had stated before, the car has great trunk space, but to ensure the great trunk space sacrifices had to be made. The Honda Civic Type R will only have enough room to carry four people inside of it. If it's like the previous Type R, an addition to the car that people seemed to take a strong dislike to was the augmented engine sounds that were added to the car. This is a feature added by Honda to make up for the lack of engine sounds that would come from the car, since it runs on electronic systems and a turbocharged engine. What this feature does is play artificial engine noises through the car's audio system. The car also lacks a reverse sensor and reverse camera, so the drivers who rely on the reverse camera to back up may have to get used to reversing the old-fashioned and way more stressful way. While the car may have its downsides, it is not by any means a bad car. Let's take a look at a few more of the well-received features of the car. For all the car enthusiasts out there, let's talk about how the car runs. Car lovers want to know how their possible feature car will run before they purchase it. Oftentimes, when they go to see if a car is worth purchasing, they look at every single aspect of it, examining every inch of the car. If those same car enthusiasts were to look at the Honda Civic Type R, they'd see that the vehicle is equipped with a six-speed manual gearbox. For those of you who feel they won't be able to drive such a car, the six-speed manual gearbox will most likely be able to be deactivated. The power that is within the Honda Civic Type R will go to the front wheels, and only the front wheels. The Type R will have an output of 360 horsepower and a very good 295 feet of torque that will be put out by the turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Car lovers will definitely have a great time driving around in the Honda Civic Type R. It's a car that they can drive fast and not have to worry about understeering happening. While the car will allow drivers to go fast, it must be said that we hope the drivers shouldn't go too fast, as it could be dangerous to them and those around them. Let's discuss how it will hold up in comparison to the previous Honda Civic Type R cars. This is not Honda's first time experimenting with the Honda Civic Type R. The original Type R was released over 20 years ago in 1997. In the 25 years since, there have been many changes to the car, as new technology becomes available and new possibilities are able to be explored. The first of the cars was released in nothing other than a three-door hatchback style. It wasn't until the third version of the Type R was released in 2006 that the car came exclusively as a sedan in Japan. Honda has brought the Type R to the public eye in many different shapes and sizes, all with a new 
unique feature that wasn't available with the last car. Although the Type R was officially released in 1997, the first time the Honda Civic Type R found its way to markets in the United States was 20 years later in 2017. The car was released to most places worldwide to great reception, even winning Top Gear Magazine's Hot Hatch of the Year in 2017 when the car was made public. This new 2022 Honda Civic Type R comes directly after the 2021 Honda Civic Type R. The question at hand is if it will be as satisfactory. Next, let's take a look at what cars the Type R will be competing against. Including the Type R, there are over 20 cars said to be released in the year 2022. With the many different car brands releasing different cars, the Type R seems to have some competition. Volkswagen has planned to release their Volkswagen ID Buzz the same year. The van, with its mixture of modern and retro designs, will surely give the Type R a run for its money in the space and storage department. The Type R offers some really good space for a car of its level, but it could never beat out the storage room of a van. The Volkswagen also has the pro of being able to hold more than the Type R's max of four. Toyota has also planned to release its GR86 car in 2022. This car will definitely battle the Type R for the winner of best exterior design. The formula used for this car is pretty basic for how Toyotas have been in the past, so it's looking better for the Type R in the innovation category. All in all, there are a lot of cars to be released. We cannot say which one will be the best out of them. We'll just have to see how the Type R holds out once it is officially put out into the world. Finally, let's discuss everything we officially know about the Type R. As mentioned earlier in the video, there was a trailer released that showed us a small glimpse of the inside of the car. What we know for sure is that the car's steering wheel is wrapped in suede and that there is a nice little touch screen on the dash of the car. We also know that the car can hold very good space, and even better space when the seats in the back are pulled down. We will know more when the car is released very shortly on the 20th of June. It's worth noting that is simply only when the car will be debuted. Many have estimated that the car will actually be released the following year in the fall of 2023. We can't say for sure, but the car has been heavily rumored to offer a dual-clutch gearbox, which would be a first for the Honda Civic Type R. The cost of the car itself is also unclear, but since the previous car started at $38,000, $10, we can only expect this car to cost more, as it's standard for cars to have a slight price boost over the car that was released prior. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.